and I might see a hyena dead ahead on the outside. I think maybe even two. Oh, there's definitely a hyena outside. There's two. Oh, there's three. Okay, so there's three hyenas. Four. Four hyenas. What am I, the Count from Sesame Street? <laughs> All right, we are back in Outward with our hero, Jim, the latest adventurer looking to stake his claim in Chierzo in the land of Chersonese and Arai. Now, when we last left Jim, uh, he had a pretty good couple of days. Uh, we set out to get the Mushroom Shield for Helen Turnbull, and we managed to do that uh, without too much trouble. There was a uh, troglodyte mini-boss in that cave that we could not defeat because uh, we did not have gear sufficient at the time, but uh, not to be deterred, uh, Jim used his, uh, extra available time from not defeating <laughs> said troglodyte boss, uh, to head into the Montcalm Bandit Fortress, and we defeated that bandit, uh, that entire camp and their leader pretty easily, and then head out to the Vendable Fortress and defeated the, uh, club and shield-bearing bandit that was out there. Now, in the last episode, I said we would be heading right to Berg at the top of this episode, um, however, in the comments last week, someone reminded me that there is one more thing that Jim could do in town, and that is to check the hyena den that is in Chersonese. My overworld has been pretty much, uh, missing any, any life or banditry or, or animals, as it were. Uh, but this hyena den, even if there are no hyenas outside, there should be one inside. And if we can get at least one predator bone, we can craft that fang great axe, uh, that should have some better stats than what we're carrying. So I do think that we will make it to Berg in this episode. I'm I'm all but positive of that. Oh god, these pearl birds. <laughs> as soon as I get a good weapon, you're done for, Mr. Pearlbird. Yeah, so we will for sure, I imagine, make it to Berg in this episode, but we will quick run uh over to the hyena den or whatever it's called. There's like a cave. It should have at least at minimum one lone hyena inside of it. And if RNG is on our side. Uh, that hyena will be carrying a predator bone. Uh, I did, uh, bring Jim home, get him slept and repaired and all that good stuff. Actually, you know what? I think I forgot to repair my stuff. I did. It's okay. We'll deal with that. But we did our other chores, sold all the stuff we had to, uh, grabbed all the stuff we will need to take to Berg. So we, we've, we've got everything that we care about out of the stash. And I might see a hyena dead ahead on the outside. I think maybe even two. Oh, there's definitely a hyena outside. There's two. There's even one in this gulf here. Oh, yes. Okay. This is fantastic. So, we will we will take, uh, we'll make quick work of these hyena, craft our fang great axe, and we're going to head out. We're going to head out to Berg. Maybe we'll, oh, there's three. Okay, so there's three hyenas. This is good. So the entire area, four. Four hyenas. What am I, the Count from Sesame Street? <laughs> Slowly just counting them out. All right, we'll try to do these guys one at a time. Oh, okay, maybe not four. That was, uh, those are just bones. All right, I don't really care. I'm not worried about these guys. Uh, we'll poison them. We'll go ahead and poison them. And we'll drop our bag here. Right about here. And we'll see if we can get him to notice us without his friend. I guess he won't, but let's see if we can take the first swing. Oh, he got me. Oh. No, 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 no. Oh, boy. Gotta remember not to commit into those damn swings. <laughs> Come on, guys. Who's gonna take the first swipe? Oh, man! And I got a disease. Alright, that's okay. Man, you guys are really bunched up here. Do either of you guys want to do anything? And another swing, and I don't hit you. That's okay. Dive! Man, you really aren't into diving lately, Jim. Here. We're not gonna die out here. That's not happening. We will block. Let's, uh, get our stamina back. You've got this, Jim. There. All right. Uh, let's heal, because we're dangerously low, and I don't know if this disease is going to make us worse. We will toss on a bandage to get some healing going. 
And uh, what disease do we have? Infection. Hmm. Do we have anything that cures infection? Well, let's check our bag. All right. A little too foolhardy, but that's quite all right. Uh, what teas do we have on us? Indigestion. Instantly cures infections. Beautiful. Done. And it'll give us back that burnt stamina. And we'll eat a mushroom bar to give us back our... Burn health. All right, big money. Yay. Awesome. All right. Let us unequip and craft our fang great axe. Awesome. Beautiful. All right, well, we may as well take on the last guy. We'll probably go into it since we're here. We came out all this way. We may as well. Uh, where'd he go? Wasn't there another guy out here? There he is. All right, let's drop our bag. We don't need to give him any special... No. Oh, man. <laughs> man, this sure does have a slow wind-up. But that is okay. Poor Carpenter blames his tools, as I've said before. There. Beautiful. What was that three swings and he's down? You know, I do believe that the, the first thing we're going to get asked to do... In, man, this this friggin' axe is hilarious. The way to make a better axe is to just tape a bunch of bones to it. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go in here. We'll take care of this guy, too. There he is. Do I have time to drop my- No, I don't! I don't! Ugh. Oh. Come on, sir. Nope. Oh, man, I really... <laughs> there is no time to react to the... The, like, wind down on the swing is enough. Well, but this weapon is, uh... A little more powerful. So I am digging that. Alright, let's see if there's anything worth it in here. Who is this? A worker. And a worker's corpse. Well, we always like Hex Cleaner, that's for dang sure. Yeah, my strategy is usually to swing and dive. <laughs> Especially against hyenas, but that, that, like, that little last bit of the animation where he gets back to being able to swing again doesn't really seem to be in my favor. Not bad, a little rusty. Took a few lumps, but all in all, we survived. And managed to get this new weapon. Or craft this new weapon, I suppose. It's hilarious. All of the models on all of the fang weapons are, like, comical. <laughs> like, I had a perfectly serviceable axe that looked sharp, heavy, strong, true, and now I have bones rope-tied to a stick. <laughs> okay, moment of truth. Hopefully Berg is populated. Let's see. Got my rations. Off we go. And we make it to Berg. I do see the flaming ghost enemy. It's a good start. We don't have any, uh, spiritual varnish or whatever it's called. So I don't think we'll be taking him on right out of the gate. What is that? Is that a dead ghost? We're gonna approach nice and slow. I think this is a ghost that's supposed to be guarding this area. But I think he's dead. Oh no, it's something else. I don't even know what this is. Dreamer's Root. Hmm. I suppose that's from a DLC, because I've never seen that before. Uh, there should be a ghost here. Patrolling. Oh, there he is. We're gonna sneak up, though. Is that him? No. I don't know where he is. Not a good sign. We'll take all this stuff, though. And get out of here. Not a great sign that he's not out here. I feel like there also was, like, a bandit that was protecting this area as well. I think there should be a couple of bandits at the turn at the lake here. And that'll probably be the big tell as to whether I'm boned or not. Ah, cool, we got three bandits in the outer, outer areas. Alright, glad to see him. We're not gonna stop and fight him yet. There should be more up here anyway. Okay, I am very happy to see bandits for the first time ever. <laughs> Yeah, I think somewhere over here, there's usually, like, a couple of roamers. You know, like, across the river and stuff. The, like, little... Ah, there we go. 
There's a bandit with a hyena. I don't know what kind of bandit. And there's three bandits. Do we just deal with them? How much? What kind of weight do I got? We might leave them alone. Tattered boots? Let's rip these up. I'm kind of over full with the stuff that I'm carrying out to Berg, so we're going to give them a little bit of little bit of room. We'll come back out to deal with them. Oh, uh, such a good sign. Never been happy to see bandits before. There's so many of them. Also, a very interesting bandit out there with a with the armored hyena. I don't know that I've ever seen a bandit like that before. Hmm. Not sure. I'd probably have to get a little closer. His, his texture is not probably fully loaded at this distance. Oh my goodness, and we finally make it to Berg. Though, uh, this is quicker than I've ever come out here. I think, what are we on? Day 9. We're on day 9, and I don't remember how much it is to get the house in Berg, but I think it's a bit. So it might be a minute. On that note, we're going to grab some wood. Because uh, we will be setting up a little hobo camp that we won't leave for more than seven days. Yeah. And there's bandits across the river. Alright, very good. Berg will be a more exciting place to traverse. Excellent. We've got plenty of time to hit the markets, talk to Risa, set up a camp, sleep, and then see what adventure awaits us in Berg. Oh my goodness, that's right. There's so much money to be spent in this town. <laughs> now my understanding is this stuff won't despawn for seven days, so uh, we'll make sure we come back and collect it before seven days are up. Hopefully we can have a house before seven days. We shall see. More than I want a house, though. <laughs> I want that Kazite armor. All right, before we go talk to Risa, I'm just going to get a, a sense of the price of the armor that I am keen to have. I have items useful for hunters, whether you hunt beasts or men. I'd like to talk. I came here to harvest beast golem scraps. They're very useful, cra uh, very useful crafting components, but one of the golems injured my knee. So I'll pay well if you bring me some scraps. All right. Bring me two beast golem scraps and I'll reward you greatly. Need something else? I sure do. I need 275 bucks. Maybe we start with your boots because I got crappy boots on. All right, done and done. Let's uh, put these on. All right, we got to go make a lot more money. Uh, we're also going to have to head outside to find a weapon. If I do recall, like I said, I think we're going to get tasked with creating a fang weapon, and I'm not going to turn in the one I just got. Risa Aberdeen says, Jim, I'm glad to see you. Have you given my offer any thought? Will you work with me and be adopted into the Aberdeen family? And Jim says, I'm thinking about it. Is there anything I need to do to make it happen? <laughs> The Aberdeen family is one of the oldest and strongest families in the Collective. To help the process go smoothly, you should get the approval of another old family. Either the Sutherlands, the Battleborns, or the Sullivans would do. Gabriella Sullivan and Julius Sutherland are close allies of mine, and Sigard Battleborn wields an especially large degree of power as the Chamber Lord of Berg. It would do good to introduce yourself to them. They may ask for a small favor. Beautiful. <laughs> of course, it's raining. They may ask for a small favor to prove that you can bring value to the Collective, and I'm certain they will all reward you in their own way. Once you have their approval, let me know, and I can begin the adoption process. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure this is one of the people we got to talk to. Gabriella Sullivan. Awesome. Ah, you must be the scout that Risa mentioned. I'm Berg's Mistress of the Hunt. If you need training in the art of hunting prey, my cousin near the entrance can teach you. If you want me to give you my family's approval, show me that you can handle the wild. Show me that you can make a fang weapon from the remains of your enemies. If you don't know how, the local blacksmith can teach you. Is that a fang weapon? Here, look. Ah, you're just going to take it from me? No! Is that a fang weapon? Here, let me hold it for a moment. This handiwork isn't bad at all, Jim. I feel comfortable lending my voice to your adoption. You'll make a great addition to the Aberdeen family. Oh, okay, cool. She doesn't take it. Awesome. Good. Here, a little gift from one hunter to another. Use it well. Oh, I thought she was going to take it. All right, good. I may just go buy that Kazite armor. What do I got? 373 bucks. It's like 250. I think it's time. And we'll save up for the mask. Awesome. All right. Good job, Jim. Right out to Berg. Well equipped. Already out of the gate. Decently equipped. Want to get that brutal great axe? All right. I think we're going to throw caution to the wind and just go talk to Risa. I don't remember that if she's just going to tell us to head straight back to <laughs> Chersonese. Or if we'll have a minute or two. 
Um, if she says to head back, straight back to Cherisonese, I'm going to have to empty out that bag and take it with us because it's got a bunch of good stuff in it. But let's see what she says. You've spoken with my associates then. Good. My offer still stands. If you pledge to work with me, I will begin the steps needed to adopt you into the Aberdeen bloodline and free you from your family's blood price. The Aberdeens are one of the oldest families in the Blue Chamber Collective, and our name carries a great deal of weight. It comes with great responsibility, but also many advantages. I believe you'd do us proud. Will you pledge yourself to the continued survival of the Blue Chamber Collective and join the Aberdeen clan, Jim? Uh, yeah, let's do it. I'll commit myself to the well-being of the Collective. What do you need? Uh, this is a turning point in my life, and I am certain I wish to pledge my life to the Blue Chamber Collective. Yeah. Jim just wants to make sure. This ha this helmet does not match this armor. <laughs> it's hilarious. Yep, what do you need? I knew I could count on you very well. Listen, the other Chamber Lords are on their way here for a council meeting. Two major issues are at stake, both of which could cause a major impact on relations with Sirocco and the Abersar regions. It's too big of an event to go smoothly. All right. I'm not sure what or how bad it would be, but I'm convinced beyond all doubt that something huge will happen. Something that could jeopardize the entire collective if we aren't ready for it. It'll be a few days before they arrive, however. Take the time you need to get used to life in Enmercar, and don't forget, Chierzo is still your home. Oh, nice. Okay, so we're heading back to Chierzo. <laughs> Here, as the newest member of the Aberdeen family, you should have this. It's the key to Chierzo. It should open any lock in the town, as well as a small basement vault in their home. All right. Did you give me anything else? No, nah, but we'll hold on to that. Let's go find out how much it's going to cost to... How much is it going to cost to get a house? This is hilarious. We ran out to Berg. <laughs> it was like two seconds. She's like, all right, go back. Ah, you're the new member of the Aberdeen family, right? The Sullivans have been kind enough to open up one of their old homes for your purchase. So you interested in the house? I sure am. Uh, 500 silver coin in the house is yours. No thanks. I don't have the money. Well, if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Uh, I sure do. And I'm going to. Let's talk to this guy, see how much we got to save here. So we need 150 for a helm, 500 for uh, the house, and... Oh, I want that Rage Boon. Oh, it only costs 50 bucks. All right, we're going to get the Rage Boon right now. Done. We'll be unlocking the Breakthrough and probably getting the Predator Leap and the Feral Strike. I don't know if I'm going to focus too much even on range in this one. In the, in the original series, I kind of split between uh, melee and ranged. Uh, I, we may, like, purely focus on melee for Jim. Stamina melee. We're gonna get that mask that gives us damage bonus. But what we'll do uh, for this episode, since we're already here, uh, we'll head out and, uh, see what, what's, uh, what's going on in Berg. Maybe we'll head straight across this river here. Take care of these, uh, these ne'er-do-wells who have set up shop across the bridge here. And just in case we gotta run them back through here. How many guys you got out here? Just two? Alright, we'll drop our bag here. We'll rage. And we're gonna come get these guys. Oh! These, these damn counters these guys have. Come on, pal. Get away from your friend. Oh, man. Well, you're dead now. Nope. <laughs> Try to get a little bit of our stamina back. Nice. Come on there, pal. You're bleeding. And you should be dead. Oh, good. Look at you. <laughs> With his dying breath, he tries to attack us. Oh, but I love this armor so much. <laughs> the ability to just keep swinging and swinging and swinging. Now, somewhere... I bet it's up there. Alright, we're gonna head to the Cabal of Wind Temple. And the reason we're gonna do that is in the base game, uh, that was where I found the Brutal Great Axe, and that is the axe that I want. I will take your jerky, sir. Absolutely. I will eat your jerky, sir. I'll take your machete. They make for good bleed traps. And your money. And uh, we'll leave this stuff here for now because uh, we may fill our, our pockets with better things. Oh my goodness, but this turned out well, huh? 
We got our Rage Boon. We got our armor that I love. I'm basically... <laughs> the, the, the jinx I'm about to lay upon this thing. But in by episode 3, I'm about where I was in episode 15. <laughs> Alright, isn't there like a chest out here somewhere? There it is. Very sneaky, very hidden. Well, what we haven't seen is um, all but one. We saw one alpha deer in the in the far distance. We're gonna keep making our way out to. Oh, nice. Okay, if we can get one more power coil, we will get the. Um, I think it's called the Mafino backpack, which, um, if I recall, not only does it have like the highest storage capacity. I think it, like, repairs your gear as well, or something. Or, like, protects against rot from food, I think. It is a giant, comically large backpack, but I would like to grab it. But what we'll do for today's episode, like I said, is we're gonna head out to the Cabal of Wind Temple, because I hope that it wasn't RNG that put a Brutal Great Axe out there. And if it is, man, we are pretty much set for how I want this character to be set up in Berg. At least in terms of getting him right where he was after 15 episodes of the base game. So the enemy spawns, I, it seems like they're different so far. They're not exactly the way I remember them. Maybe they're trying to uh, liven it up a bit and make it a little bit different. And maybe every seven days the, the spawns exactly where they are change. I don't know. We'll see. And then once we get into the um, Blue Chamber Collective storyline where we go like, we travel into the... Um, we, like, attend a meeting and then get sent underground to, like, stop a plot or something. And then once we hit that point, we are in uncharted territory for me. It'll pretty much be where I was in the original series, and I have never gotten further than that playing this game. There is two flanking little ruins outside of this thing, and one of them had a brutal great axe. And oh boy, big money, no whammies, we are hoping. It'd be really nice to run into some Alpha Deer, too, on the way back. We'll take a little bit of a different way back that way. See if we can run into anything else. All right, there's another stash out there. All right, big money. Nah. Bummer. Coral Horn Bow. We'll take that. Let's go see what this stash has to say to us. Uh, would have been too perfect. I'm not even upset. It would have just been too much too perfect. Oh, there's a, uh... There's an alpha deer. Alright. Not even upset. It would have been too much. So it's quite fine. Oh, you, my friend, are mine. Uh, these guys can be a little bit of trouble sometimes. So we will... Drop this. We will rage. And go tangle. Ha 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 ha, you got nothing. No! <laughs> Alright, he is, um... He is a bit strong. And fast. Man. No, I'm gonna get hurt. There it is. Oh, boy. Got the rhythm out of whack. Yeah, okay, we gotta gather a little bit of stamina, so we're gonna back up from him a bit. Man, he is angry. My friend, I am so sorry. <laughs> no, 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 you don't. No, you don't. We're still fighting you. I've got fight to give to you. What? I can't seem to uh, affect him. Come on. Don't do this. Don't glitch. Come on. Well, he's gonna die there. Hopefully he slumps down the hill. Come on, game. <laughs> there it is. Alright, let's get our bag first. <laughs> I forgot they're, uh... They're tough until... Until they pass a certain point. Where's my bag? Oh, all the way out here, jeez. Well, let's keep adventuring. What is that? A powerful concoction that restores stamina and burnt stamina and provides protection from hot and freezing environments. Manticore Great Mace? Hmm. 
I wish it was a Manticore Great Axe. Kind of committed to axe use here. All right. I think there is a murderous hell beast in here that is probably the Manticore. It looks like a uh, Tarantula Griffin, so... And it's probably the Manticore. But there's also a little little shack in here that I'd like to visit. So we'll look in here and see how how busy this uh, this Manticore looks, as it were. And then we can head out that way. I'm not guaranteeing we're gonna make it all the way into this shack if this Manticore's here. I've never so much as swung on a Manticore, but that uh, Alpha Deer proved to be a bit of trouble, so I'd imagine a Manticore is going to be much harder. All right, there's that little tent I want to visit. And there is that horrifying beast. All right, like 99% of the time that I've come out here, he's been very busy, like, fighting things, whether they exist or not. He's been off in the corners. Don't look at me. Maybe we could sneak past him. All right, we're going to try to sneak in. We're going to do it. Wait, 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 wait. Let's just see what he does. He's going to take a turn towards the the tent. I, don't, I wonder how fast he is. That's going to be my famous last words. Let's try. Let's try. We're going for it. We're going for it. Mm, getting out of here is going to be logistically difficult. <laughs> All right. Oh, <gasps> yay! Yay! Oh, my God. What a day. What a day. Oh, look at all these predator bones, too, if I needed them. All right, totally worth it. Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that makes me happy. I think it's faster, too. I, I don't remember what the hell these numbers mean. <laughs> all right, we're gonna try to sneak. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, 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 okay. All right, I am literally nervous right now. <laughs> My elbows are tingling. Come on, come on, come on. All right, he's not looking at me. Don't go out. Go back. God, that thing looks horrifying. All right, we did it. I think we did it. I think we did it. I think we did it. Now all we have to do is get out of here. The simple task of getting the hell out of here. Oh, don't walk towards the exit, you bastard. What do you think? Do you think I'm too close? Nope, nope, nope. He's not paying attention. He's not paying attention. So far, so good. Oh my god, that thing looks like a problem. He looks like a serious problem. I've never even swung on one of those things. So I don't know how bad they are. Woo! Oh my goodness, I cannot believe there was a Brutal Great Axe in there. That is fantastic. In fact, now that I think about it, I think I found a Brutal Great Axe in that stash we checked by the, um, the Wind Temple, and then immediately found another one in here, or vice versa, and had two of them. <laughs> We're gonna go get that... We're gonna go get that helmet, and I'm literally... <laughs> outside of needing the funds for a house, uh, I'm in the same gear that I left, uh, episode 15 in. <laughs> and here is that ruined settlement, with a couple of stashes to claim. Oh. I just saw a figure appear and disappear. There we go. Oh, it's that guy in unusual... <gasps> Two power coils. Oh, yes, we are going back to Chierzo next episode. <laughs> this is bananas. This is absolutely bonkers. What a stroke of luck. My goodness. All right, we'll take your term mips. And your mana stones. All right, this guy is in different gear than I think I've ever run into. Oh, no. That's not, uh, yeah, no, 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 no. Nope, no thank you. He's like some kind of giant. We will be tangling. Oh, and a pistol shrimp, too. Awesome. It is so good to see this place not devoid of life. I do want to tangle with him. He's another guy that I've never fought before. He's some kind of giant. Uh, we're just not doing it today. Because I don't think that's going to end well. We will try to clear out these bandits and, uh, head ourselves back to Berg. This was the guy that I thought had different armor that I'm accustomed to seeing. Which he does, he's in like, something different. It looks a little different. You know what I might do? Yeah, he's in he's in a, a unique set of armor there. I would like to get one of them alone. Damn it. Let's see if I can get him. All right, I did, I did. Did they both come? Just the one. Awesome. 
Drop the bag. Rage. Get out our weapon. Nope, no, I got them both. They're both interested. Do you see me yet? Come on. Come on. Without your friend, yes. Nice. Ah, uh, swing. Swung too soon. Oh, his friend's upset with me. It's okay, we're gonna gather some of our stamina. Just gather some stamina. Shit! How did you not die? How is it po- Oh, I forgot to poison my blade. Whoops. Oh, man, the jumping around. Just die already. There. Okay, now we're gonna collect our stamina. Now we're gonna- I should have prepared better for this battle. That's okay. Our stamina's coming back. He hasn't charged us yet. We're just gonna keep backing up. We're almost there. We're about ready to take him. I forgot to poison my blade and take something for stamina, but that's okay. Alright, let's see what he's got now. And he swings. And he swings and he gets a good hit. And he is very strong, also. Okay, this could be a problem. Ah, son of a bitch. All right, we got to break and run. Run, 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 run. I'm gonna die. Ooh, am I bleeding? No, I'm not. Okay. Hopefully we have enough stamina to get away from him. We're gonna drain our stamina almost to the edge. And... Bandage. And where's my great life potion? Boom. Beautiful. And poison our blade. And he's still interested in us. And I would like uh, a berry. Okay. Now, we're going to try that again, friend. Man, I didn't do much to you at all. And you like that stab, huh? Can I have your your gear when you're done? Ah, oh, man. He didn't swing. There we go. Swing. Swing, dive, dive, dive. Oh boy. That special ability is just not worth it. <laughs> Uh, let's get some of our stamina back. Come on. Man, he, I'm not swinging. I need you to swing. He caught me. He caught me. How did you catch me? And a really good hit, too. Man, he is doing well. I want to get some of that stamina back. Oh, I forgot to take something for... Uh, oh, no, I did. I took a bandage. It's just done. Oh, I should have taken some jerky. No, dive! Oh, my God, man. Put on your backpack and run. We're good. Go, go, go. There's my flaming arrows. <laughs> Come on, pal. Maybe we'll try sparks on him. Let's, uh, take some healing potion. There you go. Alright. Redo our bandage. And we'll try sparks on him. Oh, you know what I should do? Is, uh, set a trap for him. Let's do that. Here. 
Maybe I can lead you through this. We'll try. We'll try. We'll see what we can do. Let's get this trap filled with bleed. Uh, we're going to build a coral horn bow, so we're not going to do that just yet. Uh, we will eat another berry. Wrap a preemptive bandage. Spark our weapon. And drop our bag. And Rage is already raged. Where did he go? Here he is. Excuse me, friend. Should I have taken that opportunity to swing on you while you're distracted? I guess I should have. Come along, friend. Where are you? Come on, pal. Don't get stuck on the terrain. You're wasting my shock power. Ha ha. All right. Oh, and he swung and caught me perfectly. Oh, uh, I gotta stop with that special ability. It is not worth it on most enemies. And he caught me. Stuck on the terrain. And I think I'm bleeding. Am I st I'm not healing either. Like there, swing. And get out of the way. Swing. Dead. Woo! Oh, boy. It took a bit. What did you have? Anything good? A scavenger scarf. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And what did you have here? Just an iron sword? That's what was doing so much damage to me, was just an iron sword. Are you kidding me? Uh, what does this scavenger scarf do versus my padded helm? Look at how hilarious we look. How did he have a helmet and a scarf? Hmm. No, I don't know. Also, how does this scarf do cold weather defense? My bald head is just out there in the elements. All right. That took a lot. That took a lot of cheesing. <laughs> a lot of running away. Oh, we're not going to run right into another group of enemies. We will also heal up. Do we just go deal with them? Let's do it. Ah, get him, Jim. Wow. Nice, friend. Swing again, Jim, please. Okay. <laughs> Was there not two of you guys? There you are. Hi, friends. You guys want to come up here, maybe? He got me real good, too. Oh, damn it. All right, I need my stamina. Just back up, make some space. This guy's got his full health. But, my friend. See, these guys I can do the special ability on, because they don't have great reaction. Man, it takes a long time for me to come out of block and start swinging. I don't know if that's my controller, or just bad timing. See, that was a lot better. I still got hit, though. Alright, let's get our stamina. Get our stamina back. He is about to be done for. 
beautiful. Jim's still filled with rage. Heads back to Berg. <laughs> oh, it is getting cold. Is it fresh? It's fresh. Oh, boy. Berg, you gotta knock it off with the fresh. <laughs> fresh, like, sounds like it should be a bonus. Th that, that word conjures up it being, like, brisk and nice out. Not, I'm in, uh, danger of catching a cold. What are you all? Oh shit, it's Roland. Let's get our, uh... Let's get our silly hat first. <laughs> Maybe we'll talk to Roland in the morning when it's bright out. Beautiful. Uh, you can have my scavenger scarf. Give me some money back. Alright, let's see what Roland Argenson is doing in town. Jim, it's good to see you. I almost didn't make it to Berg in one piece. Some metal golem dog thing nearly got me. Uh, if a passing hunter hadn't saved me. Uh, what did you give me? Spikes, tripwires, palladium spikes. Nice, thank you. Uh, he gave me some stuff to make traps and told me to use them and my brain if I'm not good at fighting. But I'd rather practice fighting than rely on these tricky things. Uh, I nearly impaled myself trying to arm one. Thanks, Roland. Awesome! Well, that's fantastic. All right. Well, I think that's a good spot to leave it. Uh, we managed to get Jim kitted out almost exactly how I want him to be set up. He's got the brutal great axe and the Kazite armor now. Uh, we do have two power coils, so when we head back to Cherisonis, we will uh, see if we can pick up that even larger backpack from that uh, Montcalm Bandit Fortress and see if that thing's worth carrying around. We'll also check in on Chierzo proper uh, and see if they need any assistance. I have a sneaky suspicion since Risa back there has said to check in on them that they will indeed need our help. Uh, but we'll do all that in the next episode, so subscribe for more Outward, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>